Grade 4 math, number 81. Multiply a mixed number by a whole number. So, let's do a little review here real quick. A mixed number is a whole number with a fraction. 1 and 2 thirds, that's the whole number 1 and the fraction 2 thirds, and it represents 1 and then another part that's split into 3 that you've got 2 of. Okay? 1 and 2 thirds. Remember that an improper fraction has a numerator that is larger than its denominator. 5 thirds is improper because the 5 is bigger than the 3. Sometimes they're called umbrella fractions because the top is bigger. Okay? So there's two methods. We've got partial products method and we've got imp improper fractions method. I'm going to start with the partial products. Okay? When multiplying a whole number by a mixed number, we can multiply partial products, then add the products together. Okay? We've got 3 times 1 and 1 eighth, and it becomes 3 times 1 plus 3 times 1 eighth. We can multiply the 3 times 1 and get 3, and then we multiply the 3 times 1 eighth. And if you remember from our previous videos, we multiply a whole number by a fraction by multiplying the whole number to the numerator and putting it over the denominator. So 3 times 1 eighth becomes 3 times 1, which is 3, over the 8. 3 plus that 3 eighths is equal to 3 and 3 eighths. And this is what it looks like with models, okay? We've got 3 times 1 and 1 eighths. So we've got 3 times 1 and 3 times 1 eighth. 3 times 1 would be 3 ones. That gives us 3. 3 times 1 eighth would be, these are all broken up into eighths, and we've got one of them, another 1 eighth, and another 1 eighth. 3 little 1 eighths. That gives us 3 eighths. See? We add them together, and we get 3 and 3 eighths for an answer. Okay? 3 and 3 eighths. See? All right, let's try it again. We've got, let me take this off, we've got four times two and three-fifths. We break it up into four times two, like that, and then we do four times three-fifths, like distributive property, okay? Four times two is eight, all right? That comes there, and then we do four times three-fifths, and that's twelve-fifths. Remember, we do the four times three is twelve, and we put it over the five, 12 fifths. Now we've got 8 plus 12 fifths, but that 12 fifths needs to be simplified and, re and, and fixed, right? Because it's an improper fraction. We can't leave it that way. We can't say the answer is 8 and 12 fifths. So we ask ourselves, how many times does the 5 fit into the 12? Well, 12 divided by 5 is 2, and there's a little 2 fifths left over. See? 5 times 2 is 10, 11, 12. So we got a little 2 fifths left over, and we've got that 2 whole. We add the 8 plus the 2 whole from the 5 times 2 is 10. We add that little 2 fifths and we get 10 and 2 fifths. This is what it would look like as a model. Okay, we've got 4 times 2 and 4 times 3 fifths. All right, 4 times 2 is 8. That's easy, right? Now we've got to do the 4 times 3 fifths. All right, so watch. Here's 1 3 fifths. See? 1 fifth, 1 fifth, 1 fifth. That's 1 3 fifth. two times that we have three-fifths, three times that we have three-fifths, and four times that we have three-fifths. Okay? If we counted up all these little one-fifths, we would have five, ten, eleven, twelve-fifths. See? Four times three is twelve over the five, twelve-fifths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 fifths. Well, we can look at this and say we've got one whole, two whole, and two little fifths left over, don't we? Two and two fifths. We add the two and two fifths to the eight, and we get ten and two fifths as our answer. So, four times two and three fifths comes out as ten and two fifths. See? So doing partial products, we break it up. Now, this won't work if this is also a mixed number. If this was 4 and a third times 2 and 3 fifths, that's the next video. I'm just talking about a whole number with a mixed number, okay? That's what we're covering in this video. 
All right. Now, here's method two, and this is the way that most teachers like you to do it, and this is the way that most people do it, okay? It's the improper fraction method. We can convert the mixed number to an improper fraction and then multiply everything. So we're going to use the same problems, 3 times 1 eighth, like the first one, see? 3 times 1 eighth, and in our second example, we're going to do the 4 times 2 and 3 fifths, just like we did here. So you can see apples to apples how it is, okay? So... 3 times 1 and 1 eighth becomes 3 times 9 eighths because we're turning this into an improper fraction and then multiplying, okay? If you saw video number 79 and 80, which are the, the 1 and 2 ahead of this video because we're on number 81, you'll see how to turn mixed numbers and improper fractions into each other, okay? So... I'll tell you how to do it right now very quickly, okay? And if you want more information about it, go back to the previous videos and watch them, and it'll go into more detail. What we do is we multiply the whole number by the denominator and add the numerator, okay? So we go 1 times 8 plus 1, 1 times 8 plus 1, 1 times 8 plus 1. We put the whole thing over the eighths because we're keeping the denominator unless we have to simplify at the end. So it's all over eighths. 1 times 8 is 8, plus 1 is 9, we now have 9 eighths. 1 and 1 eighth became 9 eighths. So now we're here, okay? Now that we turned it into an improper fraction, now we can finally solve the problem, all right? So we went under to turn it into an improper fraction because we're trying to make the numerator bigger. Now to solve it, we're trying to get 9 eighths three times. 9 eighths, 9 eighths, and 9 eighths, okay? 3 times 9 is 27. We put it over the eighths, and we've got 27 eighths. Now we can't leave it that way. We've got to finish it, right? We ask ourselves, how many times 8 can fit into 27? Well, 3 times 8 is 24. So 27 divided by 8, we've got at least 3, and then there's a little 3 eighths left over because 24, 25, 26, 27. See? There's a little 3 eighths left over. So our answer is 3 and 3 eighths. 3 and 3 eighths. Same answer. Okay? Now let's try doing this one, the 4 times 2 and 3 fifths, but we're going to do it with improper fractions. 4 times 2 and 3 fifths becomes 4 times 13 fifths. This 2 and 3 fifths is going to become 13 fifths, okay? And this is how. We take the 2 fifths, the 2 and 3 fifths, and we multiply the 2 times the 5, and we add the 3. 2 times 5 plus 3. See how we're kind of going counterclockwise? Reverse clockwise? 2 times 5 plus 3. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 3 is 13 fifths. So now we have our improper fraction. Now we can plug it into the equation and solve it, okay? So now, instead of this, we've got this, 4 times 13 fifths. Now in order to solve this, what we're trying to find is 13 fifths four times, right? 13 fifths plus 13 fifths plus 13 fifths plus 13 fifths, four of them, all right? What we do is we multiply the four times the 13, four times 13, and we put it over the five. The denom the, we keep the denominator, okay? 13 times four, four times 13, same thing, right? 13 times four is, four times three is 12. We carry the one and put the two down. Four times one is four plus the carryover is five. 13 times four is 52. We put that over our denominator, and we have 52 fifths. Can't leave it that way. We've got to finish it, right? We ask ourselves, how many times can that 5 fit into the 52? Well, we know that 5 times 10 is 50. That gets us really close. There's just a little 2 fifths left over. So our answer is 10 and 2 fifths. 10 and 2 fifths. See? Same answer. Now, remember, because I know this under-over thing can become confusing, this is what you remember. To make an improper fraction, because we're trying to make a big numerator, we go under. We're trying to make this numerator really big to make an improper fraction, okay? Because that's what they are. But to solve a fraction through multiplication, the equation is... 4 times 13 fifths. See? 
13 fifth plus 13 fifth plus 13 fifth plus 13 fifth. We're trying to make this guy go four times. So what we do is we just multiply the 13 times the 4. See? 13 times 4. We come up with our answer and put it over the denominator. And then we reduce it. See? That's why the improper fraction is under and to solve the equation is over. Okay? Multiply denominator, add numerator, multiply numerator. Okay? I hope that makes some of it clear to you, or all of it, hopefully. And we're going to continue talking about fractions because in the next video, we're going to multiply a mixed number by a mixed number. Hmm. You think we're going to go this route, maybe? Hmm? All right, I'll see you there. Keep trying. Keep up the good work. Bye.